Why, hello everybody, and welcome back to another video on the Charles channel, and welcome to a behind-the-scenes video with everybody, kind of, uh, uh Parky, uh, Tyler, Zinc, and Ben, who all play the characters inside a lovely world, and I've kind of got them here to give a bit of a, for them to give you a bit of a personal experience on this, uh, the problem that we had, uh, that we talked about, um, in the Love Gun Problem episode. Uh, which is still getting worse by by every sign that we place is still getting worse um, And there's some things uh, that will come up on screen throughout the video uh, that you guys uh, can see and I just kind of want to talk about how awful bedrock has been and continues to be um, In in the last couple of, of months and in the last couple of weeks um, in like recently um, I'm not sure. It, like I said, it's, it's going to be hard to tell because of the refresh rate and things. The love garden does lag, especially if you're looking directly at it. Uh, so, like, if I move really, really fast, you can kind of see the choppiness. And if I look away, that choppiness goes away. Uh, for me, it's a lot worse than it will be for you guys. And there's nothing I can do to fix that because of um, certain hardware limitations, like I said in the last episode. Um, so, the thing, something we've been looking into recently is switching to Java. And, like I said, some things are going to pop up through the screen of some videos, some screenshots of the world on Java, um, compared to some screenshots of the world on Bedrock, and some, some uh, like, clips getting compared. And how do I get out of the compound again? I've, I forgot how to get out. I built the wall, so I should know how to get out of it. Uh, I'll just fly over to uh, over here. And we're going to go walk around the world for a bit and have a little bit of a chat. I'm not sure how long we're going to be uh, doing this for, because... There is, there is a lot to say, and it's especially mainly about Bedrock. We have, we've been testing the world on Java, and we've not run into a single issue at the moment. It is being perfect. Java's more beautiful and lags less, um, <laughs> which is which is crazy. Uh, mainly because I think the game is just more optimized. And I mean, like walking around the town right now, I'm getting frame drops. I feel it, like in thing, and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but my character slows down. And like I can see it in the hand movement, which I don't, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this um, in when you are watching this back, um, but I, I definitely do see it on my screen. So um, I'm going to start. Pretty, pretty usual. We've lost Tyler. Um, we are also in the fun land. We're walking around. Uh, I don't know where. We are near ho um, hole three. Oh, there you are. So uh, this is another issue. Um, Parky is currently uh, glitched. And I've got the hook on me. Uh, and has his legs are glitched uh, from the animation. So he's got two. He's got four legs. And his animation on his legs not really work anymore. Another thing. And the thing is, we, of course, uh, most continuations, including myself, we use Kelly's RTX uh, because that is what Stampy used towards the end of his series. And all of the graphical bugs you see is nothing to do with Kelly's pack. It is all to do with Minecraft's, like, ability to comprehend and process ray tracing. Yeah, uh, there is something uh, that we were just looking at, the banners. The banners are currently glitched, and no banners are working on RTX at all. Um, if I fly, another example would be if I go over to uh, Berry Berry 4. Is this Berry Berry 4? Berry Berry 3. Uh, look at all the signs. The signs are completely just glitched out. And if I turned RTX off, they would fix itself. So, it's kind of annoying. Hmm. 
skin renderings have also been very bugged recently. Um, yeah, uh, sometimes, sometimes when we've recorded, um, and you wouldn't have seen the seen any of these clips because they've all been either cut out or deleted. Um, for example, Zinc or, or Tyler would have changed to Steve in an episode uh, whilst recording, and I've either cut it or just got rid of the that part of the episode. The same things happened with uh, Ben a couple times, and I don't think it's ever happened with Parky. Um, another thing is when loading into Realms um, and just games in general, when parts of the uh, not only does it take a while, as soon as you get in, it is very glitchy around the Love Garden on Bedrock. It is super glitchy. And I, I, it's because of the signs are rendering in, but it shouldn't take that long to render in the signs, especially on a computer of the scale that I have with the amount of with beef and like power that I've got within my computer. The, yeah, maybe. Uh, it's, it's of course because it's rendering in, but like the thing is, and this is why Bedrock is poorly optimized, and I know why it is now that the game runs like it does, and how the game could run better, but it can't because Minecraft couldn't handle it running any better. When looking at Task Manager, and I'm not going to put any screenshots up on screen because it'd kind of be hard to show, but your CPU process and your GPU process isn't using everything that it's got to put into Minecraft. It's using, mainly on my computer, it's using about 50% of the CPU and 30% of the GPU, and it's just destroying the graphic quality of the game, and it's Minecraft limiting the amount of CPU usage that you can actually use, which is why the game is just so slow. If I, if they were to legit change that, a lot of problems within Lovely World would fix. For example, Love Garden, like, it'd probably fix it, because my CPU would be running at a higher speed, and the game could be running at a higher speed, but it's not gonna, it's, it's not doing that, so it, of course, won't improve. It's kind of bottlenecking, uh, Minecraft is bottlenecking my computer, so the game runs worse, which is, again, uh, a sign that Bedrock maybe is being phased out. Um, other things that happen when you load into the realm, random chunks appear when like the whole game isn't loaded in, and like it will legit stay there until you go in and physically like physically stay in there for like five seconds, which is why usually I fly around the world a bit at the start of an episode to load in some things. Mm. Um, but there's more things like we have. Um, the, the, the fact that it always rains in videos, that's bedrock. That isn't the world. It's bedrock that's done that. It just always is constantly raining and raining and raining and raining and raining. And we can't fix it um, because of the weather cycle. Um, and I kind of want it on because it kind of adds depth to and re realness to, of course, the video. Um, now, like I said, uh, uh, videos will be popping up on screen and screenshots and things of, of the world on Java. And I would play this on Java, but I don't have... I've still got to tweak some settings on Java to to have it record, to play like recordably, which is why a bunch of screenshots uh, will be done after the video and things. Um, it's just Bedrock is poorly optimized, and I'm going to say that. And Stampy moving to it was a bit of a silly idea. It, he didn't have a decision. He had no, like, he had no thing, but... It's not RTX that's doing this. It is just the game. And I can prove it. If I was if I was to turn RTX off, which I just have, and this is the world without RTX, and it's gonna look different, and some some things aren't loading properly, and that is again Bedrock's issue. If I still fly around the Love Garden, the lag is still there. And even on the realm, even in a single player world, like it doesn't matter about the chunks. It is just Bedrock cannot run it. And it is getting bad, and it is getting worse, and it's even affecting now Ben, Parky, Tyler, Zinc. Sometimes when Ellis plays, he legit couldn't, he can't go near the Love Garden, which is why I don't ask him to help more, because he would he would not be able to function. Um, again, that's why I don't include you guys in the series more. When we did Worlds Collide, needed people uh, to play the other helpers, and to play hit the target, and things like that. I asked, of course, my community to do some things like that, and the game... They had to stay out of range of the house and the love garden, otherwise the game would just crash out for them. And it's not good, and it is just getting worse, and the more and more I sit on it and wait, the worse and worse it's going to get, and the quality of the series is just going to decline, and I'll probably lose viewership, and that's something I don't want to do, because I'm very, very happy with, you know, everybody that watches season two and does everything to it, and not that I care about how many people watch season two, it's just the fact that it, it motivates me more, the amount of people that are watching the videos. Um, so... Yeah, there's, there is more issues, and, like, signs randomly disappearing, entities randomly disappearing, Forest and Frosty 
uh, lo like losing it happened recently. I think uh, it happened in the video that me and Ben recorded the other day, where Fro uh, Forrest was gone for like the rest of the episode. Forrest just randomly sat down somewhere. Paintings have disappeared from the bedroom, from from the armory, things like that. Entities such as armor stands just disappear. Um, redstone breaks a lot. Every update, it something changes. They're changing many things to make the game work, and that just causes more and more bugs. It is like jar. It's bedrock is a code, a code pit. It's just you cannot. It is. <laughs> it's a code red. It's a coding pit, and it's, it's it's like you're just burying yourself deeper and deeper by changing more things and more things. The game just the only the only way they could fix bedrock is if they were to rewrite the code from scratch, because it is just. I don't know how the game is even for sale when it runs like this, because it like like I said, if you're going to just play normally, if you're going to play a single player world with your friends, this probably wouldn't affect you. But it, for someone that's doing a series, and I think for I could probably say for everybody, you know, if I if it was to talk to Flames about this, if we talk to Tyler about this, you know, Ellis's continuation that was originally uh, on Bedrock that had issues, that the Love Garden lagged to the point that Ellis had to get rid of it. You know, O and G C people like that, they're all gonna say the same thing that Bedrock is probably the worst thing that Mojang and Microsoft have worked on, and the partnership is poor. And if they were to fix it, some major thing would have to be changed and. What I don't understand is they could code they could code the game enough to they could optimize the game enough to have Java run on console and to have Java run on Switch and to have Java run on co like other things but they just don't want to they have this ideology that they want to have two different games that are the same and it's stupid it was asking for crossplay but yet yes it's a cool feature but you couldn't you could surely run that on Java so yeah, um, I want to know what you guys think before I make any decisions, but if I was to move to Java, it would be happening after 900, um, because whilst, you know, whilst we are struggling here to, like, record, and it's just very demotivating knowing that, like, every helper is lagging at the start of the episode, and actually just generally throughout the video, um, and it's just, it's, it's something that I can't do i can't have that because you know if i was to do java less people would be able to help but um, more people would be able to run stably and things like that um inc including ben and zinc and everybody that's in the call right now c could possibly help which they already do a lot but it's more and more could be done um more yeah it is if moving to java would be game changing for the series and it would expand the horizon and it would legit be a new era and an era that i'm completely in control of which is something that i, I of course would have been talking about since we did for me, uh, lost memories uh, this new era that's coming so to say the least that i'm very disappointed in microsoft and mojang's effort to make bedrock playable is an understatement i am gobsmacked that the game runs like it does especially having a high-end pc like i do um the I, it's not and people for people that are saying that it's hardware limitations it's not hardware limitations because this has been going on since stampy was on java on bedrock and whilst you couldn't see it on stampy's um it was definitely there and i can say that uh comfortably so if anybody if nobody else has anything else to add then I think that'll probably be the end of this behind the scenes video. So, I guess it's going to change at some point. It's probably going to happen. And I mean, I'm sure you guys would agree that whilst you may not notice it, whilst you may not care, whilst you would prefer to turn RTX off, it is not your decision. And Zinc, stop it. Uh, it's, it's not your decision. Uh, it is mine, but I am influenced by you guys. So whatever you think would be best, go on ahead. But J moving to Java is a great choice, and I I'm, I'm really want you guys to consider it. Um, Ellis has made a similar video on this situation, but it's not just talking about his um, his like his world and how it's running poorly on console edition and how moving to Java would be better. He is talking about taking a break and things like that. And I'd highly recommend you go and watch that. Uh, Tyler, of course, does another series on uh, Bedrock uh, Lost Legacy, which is also a continuation, which may follow suit depending on how people take season two's change. Um, because, to be fair, Tyler doesn't see it as much as I do. 
which is weird because I have a better computer than Tyler. <laughs> so the I'm gonna continue playing around with Bedrock, seeing if I can get the Love Gun to run better, seeing if I can get the game to run better, and if I can't, um, I'll come back to you guys and say, well, it's not gonna change and it's not gonna work, and unfortunately. It will most likely go to Java, which isn't exactly a bad thing, like we've said. Um, but this has uh, been a bit of... <laughs> yeah, it legit is. And uh, like I said, videos will be popping up on screen, screenshots throughout the video. And uh, you guys can go back and watch them and compare them. There's still some tweaking I need to do on the Java side of things to make it look uh, more like the Bedrock does. Um, but I can assure you guys, uh, whatever decision we do make will be going forth in Lovely World. Uh, and it will be adding to this new era that we are going to uphold and uh, with take with pride. So I want to thank um, Zinc, Ben, uh, Parky, Tyler, and Ellis for joining me in this episode um, of uh, uh, this behind the scenes episode. Um, again, Lovely World should be out Wednesday. No, yes, Wednesday. And then, uh, of course, the episode will follow Saturday. Um, like that but i've been charles uh thank you guys so much for watching uh please put in your uh your thoughts in the comment section below and i will see you all later goodbye